I'm really happy with the winter season. In fall there weren't that many animes. I think I only watched 5 or 6. Here's the list of the animes that I'm watching that I currently air in. Black Clover, Slime, Redo of a Healer, ReZero, Dr. Stone, Seven Deadly Sins, Moon Fifth of the Bride, Jujutsu Kaisen, The Promised Neverland, Hori Miao, Kimono Yihan, and XR. What do you think about this list? How many of the animes in this list do you watch? And are there any other good animes that are airing right now that I missed? Let me know in the comments. I usually don't watch animes that are not based on mangas or books, because in most cases they are not written by writers. There are exceptions, for example, Psychopaths is great. I did watch it multiple times. Only the first season, of course. The second season looked like a filler when you compare it to the first one. And that's because they did change the writers. Anyway, most of the animes in that list are very popular, and everyone has heard of them. So I will talk about those who aren't, and recommend them to watch. Give it a try, maybe you might like them. The two animes that I picked from my list are Kemono Yihan and Hori Miao. Kemono Yihan is a very interesting and unique story. If you look at the structure of the story, it is simple. But what the writer is able to do with that simplicity is amazing. Even the smallest weapon in the hands of a master becomes a deadly weapon. All the scenes are very engaging and intriguing. There isn't a dual moment. And one of the reasons for that is the characters being different from one another. And also what makes them so intriguing is their Kemono side. Because it affects them as characters, how they are, how they think and act. And that makes for an interesting dynamic. I don't want to spoil anything in this video, but the scenes with the fox girl and Kabane are pure gold. They are both oblivious of the world, but very eager to act if someone asks them to. Their honesty and straightforwardness to act makes the scene so funny and interesting. There are a lot of great things in this story, but since I don't want to spoil anything, I will not talk about them. Here, I will talk in other videos in more detail. Now let's talk about Hori Miao. There are so many great things in this story, I am very impressed. But because I don't want to spoil anything, I will only tell you this, and this will make my point just the same. This story was self-published, and after the success, a company did pick it up. So its success was not due to the name of the company or marketing or something like that, but just a great story. It really makes me happy to hear stuff like that, when writers are so confident in their story that they self-publish them and they succeed. If you have already watched them, then let me know in the comments what you think about these stories. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.